The VHS Seller, Episode 2. Mr. Wright gets an idea. He realizes that he needs to implement a strong decision-making model so he can make good decisions for the business and effectively manage Revis and Jughead. He contemplates using one of the three individual decision-making models he learned about in school. After pulling out his old textbook and brushing up on what he learned, he makes a decision. Mr. Wright can't wait to tell Revis and Jughead of the changes to come. He tells them to meet him in his office in 10 minutes and that there's going to be some big changes around here. 10 minutes later, Revis and Jughead come strolling into his office. Mr. Wright expresses that Due to the apathetic attitudes and laziness of Revis and Jughead, he must be somewhat authoritative and use a strict approach to managing them, the classical or rational model of decision making. His goal is to transform Revis and Jughead, and he believes the seven steps of this model will whip them into shape and make them productive employees. He also decides to impose a new dress code on them. After imposing the new dress code, Mr. Wright explains the seven steps of this model to Revis and Jughead. He tells them that they must be able to identify decision situations, develop objectives and criteria, generate alternatives, analyze those alternatives, select the best alternative, implement their decision, and monitor and evaluate results. Mr. Wright sees only blank stares from Rebus and Jughead and dismisses them with hopes that they will implement his ideas. Mr. Wright comes back the next day to see that his two favorite employees are back to their old ways, as if they never even heard him. He quickly realizes that it will be harder than he thought to change the behavior of Rebus and Jughead. It's back to the drawing board for Mr. Wright.